Hey guys, Scott Assurance Arms, uh, in, located in bustling downtown Mills River, North Carolina. Today, I thought I would talk a little bit about the process of purchasing a firearm in the state of North Carolina. There's two requirements to purchasing from a licensed firearms dealer in North Carolina. First, you have to be 18 to purchase a long gun or 21 to purchase a handgun. In order to purchase a handgun in North Carolina, you either have to have a pistol purchase permit, which is $5 from your local sheriff's office, and they're good in all 100 counties, or possess a concealed carry permit from the state of North Carolina, or be a police officer or deputy sheriff, and you can purchase off your credentials. So you're going to buy your gun. You've picked it out. You know what you, what you want. You come to the gun store, and you get it. First thing that has to happen is we have to fill out what is called a Form 4473. It's an ATF form that basically lists all your personal information and your address, the make, serial number, caliber of the firearm, and then the FFL, the dealer, will keep a copy of your permit or make a copy of your concealed carry and insert it in the 4473. If you're buying a long gun like this or a shotgun, then the process is a little bit more involved, but not much more. The, the FFL has to do a, a NICS check, which is a, I don't forgot what NICS means, but it's run by the FBI, it's a background check. <clears throat> um, and it takes usually just a few seconds to do. Sometimes it can run longer if, if the NICS section gets busy. Um, and then there's three responses you can get from NICS. You can get proceed, which means you're good to go to buy the gun. You can get delayed, which means usually, typically, it means they're busy and they can't get to everything right away, so they hit you with a delay, and then when they can get caught back up, they'll hit you with a proceed. It could also mean that there is something in your background or somebody with a similar name, similar date of birth that pops up and needs to be checked on further or delay, which means you're prohibited from purchasing firearms and you can't own a firearm. Um, <clears throat> once all that's completed, the uh, form is maintained by the FFL for 20 years, and then just, they can't be destroyed after 20 years. So um, it's not terribly complicated. There's a little bit of paperwork. Typically, you, when you purchase a handgun or a, fire, or, or a long gun, you can be in and out and just Assuming everything works right, a matter of 20 minutes or so, uh, not terribly comp complicated at all. Just a little bit of paperwork and you're out the door. Um, still looking for uh, suggestions on what to do, review, or what maybe you're interested in talking about. Um, we'll, we'll try about anything. So uh, like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate everybody that's paying attention to us, and y'all have a great weekend.